Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial for using Symfony 2 framework for file uploads. So let's start with the basic form that just contains one file input. The important thing that you have to note here is that the encoding type is multipart form data. I have also created a root and a controller for that. The action is linked to the form and the method is set as post. Now we'll just check the form that we have created in the browser. So it's just a basic file upload and now we can start doing the process for accepting the file. So we'll first accept the image file from the file bag in the request. So that is done by request files and get the name of the input element that you have specified in the form which was img. Now we can just try and try that and print it in the browser and test whether we are getting the file right now. Sorry, I forgot to keep the print or input. So, this contains the details of the file like the size of the file, the original client file name and the name of the temporary file also that was created by the PHP. So now I, we can start processing the file and do some basic validation so that uh, we just make sure that, that we have received a proper file from the user. First we'll make sure that the file we received is a proper uploaded file for that we'll just import the uploaded file class and make sure that the file we got is an instance of that and also we'll give another validation using the get error function this get error function is an internal function of the uploaded file class so we can also do that and make sure that it is zero So we'll just add an else condition and give some message in case the file is invalid. Now we'll give another validation to check the size of the file using the get size function of the file class. And we can check whether it is within the specified limit and also give a message for that too uh, or we can do one thing uh, we'll make one status for each validation check and we'll make it as failed if any of the condition fail in this way uh, we can check whether the upload is failed in the tweak file and also show a message for each check that we have done. So in case the status is failed in the twig while we render it, we can show an error message. So I'll give a message for the first check we had done too. Now we can just initialize the status as true. Now we can start doing a validation for the file type that we receive. For that we'll require the original file name of the uploaded file. For that we can use the function the get client original name. This will give the original file name. Now we need to get the extension of the file which we have received. For that we can explode the original name using delimiter as a dot to get the extension and from the array which we obtained using the ex explode function we can get the extension using the correct index on the array so we'll just take size of the array minus one so this will give the last value of string separated by dot that should be the extension of the file and now we can define a valid file array valid extension array so that we can check with that with the file type we have created so in this particular project we are uploading an image file so we'll create an valid array as jpg and bmp etc
after this uh, we can check whether the file type that we have obtained from the uploaded file is in the valid file type so in this way we can validate the file type now in case it is not of the valid file type we can again set the status as failed and give a message for that now to implement the file upload process uh, I have added some classes to the project like the document class and the file upload mover class uh, which I have created from various sources in the web uh, in the internet um, so let's just see the document class first this is the document class I think I have obtained from the symphony 2 website itself now we can refer this website to check out the original content from where I have copied this stuff or you can check out my blog at symphony simplified.blogspot.com to download the full project file this is the upload file more class which creates a folder inside the web directory and uh, we can spe I have uh, added a specific functionality to add a subdirectory function inside this so you can check out the class by downloading the project file I'm not going to explaining the complete class so I'll just start using the document class that I have created first I'll just import the document class the upload file class is being used inside the document class so you don't have to use that I'll just set the file as the uploaded file that we have received from the user and now we can create a subdirectory or name the subdirectory inside which we want to upload the file I'll just name that as uploads and we'll just finalize this function by calling the process file function which will create the uploads directory inside the web directory and upload the file inside that so we can get the uploaded URL to display the image in a web page from the same class copy the function from my previous project so the full URL path can be obtained by this method and now we can pass this uploaded URL to the twig file where it can be rendered using the asset function we can return this twig after all the validation has been complete so I'll just add it after the final if and I will pass all the status message and the upload URL using this we can test in the twig whether the upload was successful and show an error message appropriately in case we have uploaded the file the uploaded URL will be returned so we can show the image if the upload was successful too now we can start testing what we have done till now we'll just upload any file and see the uploaded URL variable was not initialized so that will give an error message we'll just initialize that to null now we can again test that out now there might be some error which we haven't rendered it in the twig so we can add that in the twig first we'll add an if condition to check whether the form is being rendered or the twig is being rendered after the upload process so we can check that whether the status is defined or not so if it is in the get request the status variable will not be defined and just the form will be rendered and if it is defined and if it is success we can show the image right here and if it is not success we can show the error message and close the if tag 
so we can start doing the error message first so we can add an if condition to check whether the message variable is defined and if it is defined we can use an alert div tag of the bootstrap so we can start doing the div tag inside and give it as alert class um, right now I think I haven't imported all the bootstrap CSS and JS so I'll be doing that later so we can just show the error message using a paragraph tag right here now we can check what was the reason for the validation that is a twig error so it is else if this error was due to the file size check so we'll just check that there should not be a not check in that and we'll just reduce the file size again again it's showing the same error so we'll just increase the file size now I'm just giving some size to accept any file so you can later modify that to your requirement we'll have to initialize the message variable again so we'll give that as null to here now I think it should work we'll also give the img tag here and give a check whether the uploaded URL variable is defined we can give the img tag inside this and give the source tag as the uploaded URL with the set function so yes now it is showing the file from the uploaded path so the file is being uploaded and also it is being shown now I have added all the bootstrap CSS and JS file I have also added a plugin called the bootstrap file upload plugin I'll be showing you the website from where I have got it so this is the website from my from where I got the JavaScript plugin I have also included this in the project so we'll just upload this and see in our project the upload file input will be looking very good with that plugin so you can download the project at symphonysimplified.blogspot.com Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a nice day.